What's up fam? My name is Robert Luther Hill. I'm an artist from Oakland, California. And in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, portraits. Um, so here's a couple of examples of different um, young people, men and women, uh, some of them drawn with <coughs> marker, a bunch of different styles basically of drawing a portrait. Some of them more exaggerated than others, but basically how to draw someone's face. So uh, take a look at some of these examples and we're going to get into it, how to make your own portrait. So when you start doing a, a portrait, what you want to do is make an oval shape and what you see here is me making a line where the eyes will go and the nose and the mouth and it's good to just uh, use these as a guide and then once you have a guide you can start to build the rest of the the face you know the ears the eyebrows the the nose the, the nostrils the upper lip the bottom lip the chin the ears all that stuff you can build off of a couple of basic shapes a triangle a square and a circle and here you see me basically taking a bunch of shapes um, to doodle or to practice or what i call iterating um, it's really good to do a bunch of different examples just to warm up and to get your hand loose and then after doing a bunch of different examples you can tell you know which do I like the best you could take <coughs> the same emotion or the same idea of a face and then um, just flip it a bunch of different ways so that's what I'm doing here just testing out um, different ways to make this portrait or make this face look and you'll see which one I pick towards the end So here uh, I have a bunch of the different styles and I'm just numbering them and looking at them like which do I like the best. Um, I think I'm going to go with number three that, that one was looking a little worried. And so I'm going to take another piece of paper and do the same guidelines, a line where the eyes are, a line in the middle of the face, and then start using an oval and a bunch of those shapes to basically build uh, the eyes, the nose, the, the brow, the lips, um, the chin. Uh, his hair, uh, all the different elements of how I want this face to look. And I just start to build them slowly, um, piece by piece, just, just still being loose, having fun with it and sketching it out. After I'm done sketching it out, what I usually do is uh, use a light box, but you can use uh, a window. Uh, and basically anything you wanna put your original sketch on and a nicer more thicker piece of drawing paper on top and then just redraw it what I call an outline so I'm taking a, a dark color and I'm just redrawing what I had before changing some things you know having fun with it still to kind of uh, improvise as I go and use that original drawing as a guide but I'm just redrawing it making it a little bit tighter that's the, the outline here All right, so once I'm done with the outline, what I do is I start to shade or add shadow to the to the face. And what this does is give the volume. And so I, if you notice, I put the arrow up there. I'm pretending like light is coming from above. And so underneath this person's uh, chin and their lips and their eyes and their nose, uh, you're gonna have shadow. And where some parts of the face are in shadow and some are more light, it gives it a little bit of depth. Depth. It makes it um, some parts come forward and some recede. So that is one effect you can use to make your portraits or your uh, faces a little bit more um, volumetric or realistic. So once I do that, I do a light shadow and then I go back and I add a little bit of darker areas here and there. Because in real life, if you're in the, the sunlight, there are parts of your face which will be really clear and other parts that will not and that's what makes it look very realistic and so I'll add a little bit of darkness to it um, maybe another shade of blue and just keep adding on to it uh, and that's how I basically make it look fly so here's the portrait done um, stay tuned for more from the Wexton project and uh, hope you have a great day peace